A sorcerer and his coven summon the demon Abazu. Hail thou Abazu, daughter of storm, arise and manifest to me goddess. The demon appears in female form. The wizard and Abby plot to ravage the nearby villages. Hello, I live nearby and I am very thirsty. Would it be possible to get some tea? Sure, I already have some boiling on the stove. You can help yourself and enjoy it on my balcony. Abby makes herself at home then transforms and strangles the unsuspecting victim. Abby transports to a lake where a man is carrying a baby. She causes him to fumble, dropping the baby into the lake. A fisherman throws a net catching Abby and brings her along the shore, his wife chops her with an axe. Abby realizes that she has resurrected into a mermaid and quickly heads back above land to continue havoc. Abby appears in a town and heads to the forest. She notices two men following her and hatches a plan to marry one of them in order to blend in with the community. She jumps into the well and awaits her savior. I must save her. Neil jumps into the well and holds Abby securely. Fair goddess, are you alright? What happened? It's Abby and I think I fell for you. Neil and Abby tie the knot. I can't survive outside of water for much longer. Abby runs to the well to submerge herself since she is a mermaid and needs a supply of water. Neil catches up with her and brings her out of the water. Honey please be careful if you sleepwalk the neighbors might think you're a witch if you continue to wander off at night like this. The next night Neil chains her feet to the bed so she doesn't sleepwalk. Your suspicions of me were right. I am a demon that is cursed to roam endlessly and only cause chaos and suffering. I beg you not to revive me with water and let me pass. I already hurt many people and trick you into marrying me so I can blend in and continue my rampage. I love you but I am not good for you. I am nothing without you my love we will wreak havoc throughout this town. Neil takes Abby into the nearest lake and jumps in with her. Abby awakens and they start to conspire. There are two men who hang out at the lake at 10 a.m., they're easy targets. Abby lures the men into their demise. Hey guys it's such a hot day and I don't know how to swim, can one of you teach me? The men grab Abby and jump in the pool with her. Abby drags them to the bottom of the ocean. A few days later when the two familiar men who always hung out by the lake was found dead, some other villagers recalled last seeing Abby with them. Some angry residents approached Neil and Abby. She was last with them she killed them she is a witch. You sound absurd I did no such thing. We cannot falsely accuse anyone without indisputable proof. The angry mob reluctantly agrees with the village elder and leaves. Honey they are onto us we must keep you away from the lakes before they see your true form. I built you a helmet that should keep you hydrated. Two villagers hid Abby's helmet and kept a close eye on her. Abby noticed her helmet missing and began to panic. She ran to the lake as the spies followed. She jumped into the lake to rejuvenate. They finally had the evidence that something nefarious was going on. They kidnapped her and took her to be burned at the stake. Abby caused the bull to move erratically and tossed the cage into the lake. She escaped the cage and dragged the two men deep within the pond. Abby returns home exhausted. Take rest, darling. Abby doesn't feel well and believes she is pregnant. Before I resurrected as a mermaid I was unable to conceive I must have been relieved from my previous curse. From this day forward I will not harm another innocent soul. Upon hearing Abby's change of heart an evil spirit captured her and brought her back to the sea. The evil spirit came back looking for Abby's child. She hid her scent and quickly swam deep within the ocean to free her mom. The village came together to lure the demon into a cage and set him on fire. 